Temperatures getting back into the upper 70s right now. Some of us going to top back out into the low to mid 80s. There's a live look in Roanoke with our Carillion Skycam. Winds are light out of the east southeast. Those are going to pick up a little bit later on this afternoon. Lower 80s at the lake, 79 in Lynchburg, 78 for us at South Boston, 74 the current air temperature in Lexington. We are topping out in the lower 80s later today in Blacksburg. Right now we are in the mid 70s. If you're planning on heading to the Strawberry Festival later this afternoon, we are going to be on the drier side. It's not until as the event wraps up today after 530 or 6 o'clock, those rain chances really start to increase. Maybe a stray storm at 4, but the better chance is coming as we get beyond dinner time tonight and really as we get into the evening. Here's the picture. We have a system off towards our west. We have a frontal boundary, a stalled one off towards our north. That's where it's going to stay. It's going to try to come closer to us and eventually it will later tonight and into tomorrow, but this big area of high pressure, this Bermuda high hanging well off that well out to sea is going to kind of close the door on it. you see those arrows coming out of the south and east really going to try to put the brakes on this and it's going to continue to keep this system stalled over us not only for this evening, but as we get into tomorrow, as we get into Sunday as well. Here is the severe storm outlook for Saturday, a marginal risk for most of the region. That's one out of five on the scale. Again, not expecting a severe weather outbreak, just the coverage of the storm is going to increase as we get deeper into Saturday. I do think a lot of Saturday going to be on the drier side, certainly for graduations taking place. Saturday morning, Roanoke College, we're going to be back into the mid to upper 60s to start most of us into the upper 60s for us graduating from Averett. Again, we are going to be dry for that. Any parties late in the evening could have some issues there. There's five o'clock on our Friday this evening. Notice again, that's when we start to see the storms really start to increase really beyond dinner into the latter stages of this evening. Here we go getting into the early part of Saturday. There's through the lunch hour. Most of us are dry, maybe a stray shower as we get into the early part of the afternoon. Watch what happens though. Again, a lot of tomorrow going to be on the drier side. So if you out, if you have outdoor plans, I don't think you need to cancel. Here's seven o'clock tonight and this is or tomorrow night, I should say. And that's when we really start to ramp things up. Eight, nine o'clock. We have more of those storms trying to push their way in. And it's really that's when we could see the biggest opportunity for some stronger thunderstorms. So again, in terms of the timing, it's not until late in the day. A lot of Saturday going to be on the drier side. Do watch out for some heavy rain in these storms that get going, though. The potential for some damaging winds. And again, all of this going to be on an isolated scale. We're not talking about a widespread severe weather outbreak by any means. Tonight, scattered showers and thunderstorms going to be out there, especially on the early side of the evening. Temperature is going to stay on the warmer side as well, back to the upper 50s and low 60s. Stay in the 80s tomorrow. Again, that 60% there, a little deceiving. Most of that coming late in the day. So if you have plans tomorrow afternoon, even early tomorrow evening, I think you're going to be okay. Just keep the Storm Team 10 weather app dialed up throughout the course of the evening if you have those plans. But again, more widespread rain and storms moving in late Saturday night. Those will continue into Sunday. And then we are going to dry things out as we get into Monday.